Richard. I like to help people. I've been doing it a long time and I'm from the East Coast. Thank you very much for your time. You do again, don't sound like a tit this time. Three, two, one. My name. I can't do it. I'm putting a funny voice on. I can't do it. I'm from the East Coast and I help people all the time for nothing just because I can. Right, uh, this time try another accent. Just the same thing. Really, that's funny enough. Hi, my name is Richard and I oh, me, like to help people. I apologize for the burp, that was just a natural reaction. More sincerity next time, right? Hi, my name is Richard. I like to help people and I am from the east coast of Scotland. Dundee, in fact. Yeah. On the tea, on the silvery tea. Enough. So this elephant makes me feel quite slim. It's quite a fat, quite a fat elephant. <laughs> Makes me feel quite slim, quite happy actually, and quite privileged to be able to look at it in Glasgow. You know, just bow down. Is, is this your favourite one that you've seen today, or? Oh, at the moment, I'm feeling it. Okay. I am feeling it in this moment. Do you like the, the is it, is it the colour or is it the shape or? I think it's just the fact that it's here and I've got my hand on it. It's like it's awesome. But you've got your hand on your love, don't you? <laughs> what about the one that's eating you behind you? Yeah, I never saw that, did you? I never saw that. I've been attacked by a giant elephant. I'll feel this one. I'll feel this one. But you don't mind because you like that one. I do. Okay. I do. So the bigger one can attack you, but. I didn't actually notice how big it was. It's huge. Now that I see it. There's actually another one up there as well, but that's the pink one. The pink back elephant. To, back to the east coast. That's <laughs> Africa's west coast cultural knowledge. Off we go. Go on. Go on, Rick. That's enough. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. So you have the you have a wolf, a fox, and three cats. And in the middle, you have the enemy of old, with eyes at the front and eyes at the back, because the king cobra has eyes at the back as well, but they're fake, they're false. Okay? Now, the thing is that the, the fox obviously knows that he can kill the snake. The wolf knows he can kill the snake, and the cats know that if they kill the snake, they can eat it. So what you have is a situation where the snake's it's going to die. It stands no chance. All it can really do is hope to get a bit more time. So obviously, that the, if you're if you're clever, you just let the you just let things unfold. You know, the snake's got no future. You can see it's got no future. So all it can really do is uh, all it really can do is be a snake and wait to die. That's it. Inevitability. That's, that's a really deep teaching, man. Yeah. So Satan is really doomed. That's, that's what they're teaching us. Yeah. Brilliant, I love it. And we don't even have to do it. Because yeah, God's, God's nature, the nature of God will do it without us. The nature of God, okay. Because God made these animals. Wow. And the snake's not very high up the pecking order, is it? He didn't make, he didn't make the snake. The, the snake was... You know, originally had legs, it lost its legs, and now it's going to lose its life. Go. Cool. And I don't think we have to do it. You know, the, the animals will do it for us. Brilliant. What did Jesus do for us? No. Jesus sacrificed everything for us. Everything. Okay. And he's picking up the price. And what did these fat ladies, the Russian dolls, do for us? I think that the, they indicate that the you know, everyone's got a life story, and you start off small, mm -hmm. and you end up, you end up big. Okay. And um, Alex Bedford is. Oh, he's a he's a, a Christian who's got a testimony, 
and I think it includes having a life of uh, an interesting life where God was involved and you know I think he, God saved his life on quite a few occasions excellent and he's from well he's a local I think he's a local Glasgow guy um, and I think I picked this up on the this is him there on his bike or yeah that's him on his bike he's talking about his, that's him on his bike you know looks like he's a bit, he's a bit younger than me I think he, uh, he competed in uh various competitions and has a very interesting testimony which apparently uh, touches people. Okay. And what about the elephant in the room? Well the elephant in the room is really interesting. The elephant's over here. Okay. And I suppose what happens is that, that when we talk about the elephant in the room, yeah. we're talking about like the, the we're talking about paranoia and okay. imagination. Imagination. Yeah, and I would say that what happens is that the that's where Satan operates. He likes to. Uh, so Satan is really an elephant, or he's he's also a serpent, but he can be an elephant sometimes. Well, he can seem a lot bigger than he is. So he's actually that size, but he pretends to be this size. Yeah, and he's doomed. It's quite a big um, size. That like be a giant elephant compared to these animals. But remember, it's the and the elephant's your imagination. It's a flying elephant. It's not real. So it's not a real elephant. No, but it's okay. the elephant in the room. The pink there elephant is. on in this room. Blue one, it's yeah. blue. No, yeah. yeah. Anything else you want to share, man? Just that the, it's nice to uh, get a chance to play with the reality of uh, God's world. Excellent, man. Thanks for that wisdom. Yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm Julia. I'm from St Andrews and um, just spending some time in the West Coast here in Glasgow. I just felt I had to highlight some some art I found. Um, it, re- it really it really spoke to me and I just feel it represents just what I stand for in life, you know? I mean, I, you can clearly see, see what I'm talking about. And I just want to say a big thumbs up to Glasgow. Where did you become a hard man? Hi, my name's Julia. I'm from St Andrews and um, I really, really love to help people. Thank you.